The full-size SUV Sangyong Rexton, which debuted in 2001, was something like the Korean answer to the Land Cruiser Prado 120. But it did not become a competitor, although it almost caught up in price. In our review, we will not divide Rexton by generation. The difference between the Rexton 1 and 2 is small, strictly speaking, only a new turbo diesel, an optional AWD all-wheel drive system and an independent rear suspension have been added. It is worth clarifying that the Rexton produced in Russia by the Subversal Concern was tied to the engine in terms of the type of all-wheel drive and suspension, and there were no such strict combinations in Korea and in the markets of other countries. Why, from there they bring modifications with their suspension, and even right-hand drive versions. Despite the presence of a frame, a reduction gear and a dependent rear suspension with a full beam bridge, as well as a ground clearance of 206 mm, Rexton is not an off-road vehicle. It has modest suspension travel and strong overhangs. In addition, the most common part-time 4WD all-wheel drive connection system has so often put a pig on its owners that they are once again afraid to move off the hard surface. The cause of the problem lies in the vacuum connection of the front axle hubs. Their seals quickly, sometimes in just one winter, lose their tightness, and the system stops working. However, there is a radical solution, the installation of mechanical hub couplings. The second all-wheel drive control system is called TOD, Torque on Demand. It does not work perfectly, the connection of the front axle begins after a thorough slip of the rear axle, and often the front axle appears when it is time to dry the oars. Problems with TOD are much less than with part-time, and they are mainly associated with the loose transfer box control wiring. The third type of drive is permanent all-wheel drive, AWD with the torque distribution between the front and rear axles in a ratio of 40 colon 60. Nothing can be manually selected in AWD, and there is no downshift in this system. And in order to avoid a situation where one wheel is slipping and the rest are standing, there are electronic driver assistants that transfer torque to other wheels with the help of the braking system. But still, getting stuck with AWD on almost level ground is quite real. The Borg Warner 5-speed manual gearbox, which was installed in the first years of production, has established itself as a quite hardy unit, but the later Korean-made mechanics have a number of design flaws manifested by increased backlash sooner or later leading to problems. Automatic machines, in terms of reliability, also let us down. This also applies to the four-band automatic transmission from the Australian company BTR Automotive and the licensed Mercedes five-band T-Tronic with manual gear shifting. With them, both electrical and mechanical troubles are possible. Even in the transmission, attention must be paid to oil seals and everything, gearboxes, transfer cases, and boxes. In general, you leave the parking lot, look at the asphalt, there are no smudges, well, nice. Front independent double wishbone suspension often requires replacement of struts and stabilizer bushings. Well, ball bearings cannot be called durable. Moreover, the ball bearings of the lower arm fell out and fell out with a small mileage. What does this lead to? I think many have seen the classic Ziggly with wheels tragically turned up. Here the picture is the same. With a run in the region of 100,000 kilometers on our roads, the lower and upper levers often require replacement. It's good that the wheel bearings, if you don't press the speed bumps at a good speed, don't fail for a long time. The rear suspension on most cars is conventional dependent, but there is also an independent spring both are quite durable. The steering rack is not an example of reliability, and knocking and fluid leaks speak of its upcoming replacement. Rumors that the Rexton is actually a Mercedes in terms of aggregate base are greatly exaggerated, although some engines do have licensed German roots. But to say that this is almost the same thing is still not worth it. Most problems arise with diesel engines, and there were several of them in the line. All diesels are turbocharged. First, a 2.9-liter engine, 120 horsepower, was installed, later two appeared with the same volume of 2.7 liters, one with a capacity of 165 horsepower s, and the other, 186 liters. With, in general, the fuel system is their weak link. But in addition to the troubles that occur due to low quality fuel, problems arise due to tightly stuck injectors and glow plugs. Drilling these usually leads to damage to the cylinder head. There are three gasoline engines on the Rexton, 2.3, 2.8, and 3.2 liters and 147, 201, and 220 horsepower, respectively. These motors are also not perfect. In addition to problems with the control electronics, for example, 
coolant leaks due to breakdown of the cylinder head gasket were noted. Crankshaft seals on all engines require constant monitoring. As for the rest, not lit up above in the negative of the nodes and assemblies, then everything is possible. For example, in the cabin, the covers of sockets, eyeglasses, and latches and cup holders break off. In modifications with the rear air conditioner, it happens that the tubes of the secondary circuit rot in a few years, and the climate control itself is out of order. The instrument panel starts to show anything or even goes into denial of work. There were also quite extravagant glitches like spontaneously folding side mirrors or dripping water from the ceiling light. Is it really that bad, you ask? And what do the owners feel, who once paid for the Rexton a price close to the cost of branded SUVs? No, as long as the Rex is fresh, as long as it is serviced in a timely and competent manner, the likelihood that breakdowns will rain down like a bucket is low. Well, those who came across an unsuccessful copy, not necessarily a second-hand one, say something like this, I hiccuped on tow trucks, spent half the weekend in the service and can't wait until there is some eccentric who will buy this miracle of the automotive industry.